Soul Life did not make this body, but it's sure making it a hell of a lot better. Soul Life minerals are highly absorbable using natural, organic, safe, and effective ingredients, giving your body the essential nutrients it craves. And you can get your Soul Life supplements at $20 off every bottle at soullife.com slash Rick and Kelly. Soul Life, the minerals you need. Welcome to your Daily Smash for Wednesday, February 21st, 2024. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. Happy hump day. Yeah, happy hump day. I got day. good news! What is your good news, baby? I got good news today at the doctor. Okay, um, I've been telling you guys about these. And I said, I'm going to show you my blood work. Our Soul Life Mineral Supplements. Um, that These work. And I have right here. Kelly's been taking them every day. My blood work. Right here, mm -hmm. to prove, right yep. here. So I have had Hashimoto since I gave birth to Julie after, okay? So I've had it since I was 30 years old. Mm -hmm. And each year, my thyroid is burning out. My thyroid is, I'm at 112 right here, right here, um, milligrams. You can see right there. I... If anybody has an autoimmune disorder, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Your thyroid controls your whole nervous, your whole system. Like if you don't have like a thyroid, like it, your metabolism, your hair, your skin, mm -hmm. everything. So when Jordan came to to me about the, these these Soul Life minerals, he said you're not gonna you don't you're not gonna have to be on synthroid. Synthroid. When you start anymore, and, you start, and so I was like, "No, I don't believe it." Let me just interject real quick. The, typically, with synthroid, your dose continues to rise as you go along because your thyroid's wearing out, right? You're my my. So my body's attacking the thyroid. Yeah, and it's burning out my my thyroid. And most people need a higher and higher and higher dose of synthroid. Not all the time. No. Not not everybody's body's inflamed or like. Oh, okay. Some people just stay on it, like you know, for the same dose forever. But this is a high dose. Like I, I, my my thyroid is full of nodules. I have to get like it. Like I'm, I'm, I'm running hard. I guess like but my body today for the first time ever. First time ever in how many years? Eighteen years. Yeah. I I have never had ever in my life had had numbers like this. And the doctor, Every time I go to the doctor, I'm def deficient in vitamin D. I'm not here. Um, I'm deficient in vitamin B12. I'm deficient in iron. Not I'm anymore. deficient in like like almost anemic. Like that's why I'm tired all the time. I'm, I haven't been tired. Um, I am just blown away with the results that I got. The, so go ahead. Tell the me. headline is for the first time ever in 18 years. A doctor told Kelly she needs to reduce the uh, prescription for Synthroid. So a lower dosage. She, she gave dosage. me 88 milligrams. She wants me to do this for six weeks, and then I'm going to do my blood test again. Mm -hmm. And I told her, I'm like, oh, my God, it's the minerals that I'm taking, yeah. right? And, and she's she like, said, and very she well said, could be. She said, it very well could be. And Jordan told you the same thing. Yeah, he told me the same thing. Mm -hmm. But my, she was like, it's, she's like, it is the craziest thing to me um, how these, I mean, I'm just so over, I'm thrilled about this. Well, we already knew they worked. Like our nails are growing more, hair is looking good, uh, we're feeling better physically. Here's my my, my things right here for mm -hmm. my, my, my blood work. Now um, I'm going to have to blur out the personal information on that. Well, there's no personal information on here. Everyone knows I'm 48 years old. There's nothing on here. <laughs> okay. Um... There's no, there's no personal information. It was very, it was very interesting to hear the improvements you've made in certain areas. I mean, I am blown. Well, the thing of it is, is that, you know, what's if I, if I don't take these minerals one day, like, is it going to affect my thyroid? I mean, like, what, I mean, because I'm well, so used to taking a higher do dose of, of Synthroid. We're going to interview Jordan this week and we're going to ask him that question. And we'll share some highlights here and we're going to share a lot more of it on our Patreon. On Rick and because like show. this, you have to take every day. Yeah. Well, and we do take our minerals every day. No, I know, but there's sometimes I all forget or I'm going to uh -huh. hurry or something. Well, we'll ask him. But my guess is, is that as long as you're consistent, you miss one day. 
Well, maybe that's why I dropped weight too, because my thyroid's like kicked in into like high gear. Could be. And he said that you know it's 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 good for for muscle uh, for recovery after workouts. I mean, this, this stuff is the real deal, and uh, we don't want to push it too hard. You know, it's up to you guys, but you'll get your discount at uh, soullife.com slash Rick and Kelly. I'm, I'm blown away by this, you guys. I mean, blown away. Mm-hmm. I mean, I honestly feel like I want to keep this weight. What is if I go down to a lower <laughs> dose and then I start gaining weight again? I, I don't know. I don't think you will. Huh? As, long as, you, as long as you keep working out and, and eating right, I think you're going to be just fine. Uh, we, we haven't really talked about magnesium. Oh, better yeah. sleep, better muscle recovery, better bathroom breaks, better heart and bone health, and better body movement. I feel different on this, on this, and this is like five times. What I love about this so much is yeah. that, and it's what we're telling the, the the doctor wanted to know about the minerals. Yeah, she, she, she may be a customer. Yeah, she was like, because Rick was like talking about how the over farming and the nutrients, and mm-hmm. and she's like, yeah, yeah, like she was agreeing like with everything that you were talking about. Mm-hmm. And how Canada FDA is way stricter than... She, she knew all of that. She knew all of it, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank Excellent you. news. Very, very cool. It's very cool. Uh, did you hear what Tom Sandoval said? Yeah, my, my, uh, my, 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 my people... <laughs> Your peeps told my you? My people told me about it. Tom Sandoval apologized after comparing, comparing Scandoval to George Floyd's murder and the O.J. Simpson case. He says it was inappropriate and ignorant. And that's what he says now. What was he saying exactly? He was saying that he was comparing himself to OJ? He was doing an interview with the New York Times. And he said, uh, <laughs> he said, I'm not a pop culture historian, really. But he's I witnessed- a freaking waiter at Pump or wherever that place was. Like, he's not smart. But I witnessed the OJ Simpson thing and George Floyd and all these big things. Which is really weird to compare this to that, I think. But do you think in a weird way it's a little bit the same? He's an idiot. <laughs> is he dumb? Apparently his PR team like freaked out when he said it. Because they knew right away that the Times was going to pick that up and run with it. And it was going to become a huge story and he was going to look like an idiot. <laughs> so they were like texting the New York Times like, hey, what about that quote? What are you guys going to do with that? He didn't really mean it. Like on and on. Well, what do they think the, that Vanderpump rules? It's not like they're a bunch of freaking scholars uh-huh. or they have that high of an intellect. It's about these 30-year-old waiters and waitresses <laughs> that are on a TV show that talk about dumb things. Yeah. Well, he did go through... A ridiculous firestorm of attention. Then he shouldn't have he shouldn't have cheated on his girlfriend. Okay, I'm not disagreeing with you. We would like to uh, remind you that Ilya Wine is back in our fold, and Ilya Wine is a sponsor of this show. And I love this candle. Oh my gosh! It they have a new my, candle. My house smelled so good last night. It's Layla's creation, 100% organic, sexy, sensual scent, creating the ambiance for the complete collection of Ilya wine that you can get with free shipping at Ilya.com as long as you order three or more bottles. And every order qualifies you for a year subscription to their wine club, so you'll get deliveries of free wine every month for a year. With every, You'll get a chance for that with every purchase of Ilya wine at Ilya.com. We're not drinking wine right now. I know, and we're going to be on Jeff Lewis' show on the 7th. They're going to go have drinks on... Yeah, they want to have drinks. Well, we can drink non-alcoholic wine. Ailey is going to start selling non-alcoholic wine. I know. That it's will available now on their website. You know, and O'Doul's helped me, too. Yeah, you, you almost ordered one the other night. I know. At dinner. Because it makes you feel like you're, like... Part of the... Like, a mocktail to me doesn't or, do anything to, for me. Because it I'm sounds not, like... It's like you're just drinking straight-up sugar. Yeah, I'd rather just drink water. Yeah, me or too. sparkling water. A sparkling water with a lemon. Miss K. Well, good morning, Rick and Kelly. Your friend Kula here. Oh, it's Kula. It's our Kula. Oh, from Florida. Our girl. The K cow tree. C A C A O. Cacao. 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 She's sending us some goodies. I didn't read it. I was just. She's sending us some goodies from Fornos Bakery. Is she? Yeah. Oh my God, that is so good. If you guys ever get a chance. To go to Tarpon Springs, Florida. Yeah. You gotta go to Kula's uh, um, Greek restaurant. It so is good. So good. So authentic. Like yeah. 
amazing. They kept dropping dish after dish on us, too. It was ridiculously awesome. Thank you, Kula. <laughs> A user with letters and numbers writes, I want to know Kelly's opinion on the broken friendship between Jackie Goldschneider and Margaret Josephs from RHONJ. I don't think Kelly is fond of Margaret Josephs. I'm fond of Margaret Josephs. I was teasing her when she was saying how great her skin was with the Irish soap. Like she was bragging. Irish Spring? About, Irish Spring. She was bragging about how her skin is so per like, perfect because of Irish Spring. I was teasing her. Okay. And then she got mad and called, you, oh yeah, you and your your little husband, Rick. And oh yeah, I'm little. <laughs> Seeing your husband? Um, but <laughs> I was I was kidding with her. She didn't realize. I adore Margaret Josephs. I think she's classy. I think, I like her. I like everything about her. Yeah. Um, and I like Jackie Gold, Gold. I like... Gold Schneider. Schneider. And her husband. They're awesome. They're awesome. Hung out with them we've a couple we've times. hung out with them a couple times. Yeah. They're lovely people. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's sad that this has to happen. You know, it's like it's like the Tamara thing. When Tamara and I were friends, and then she gets back on the show, and she becomes a completely different person. Mm -hmm. Even Brandy and Vicky say it. It's it's sad, like, what, like, this show can do. Like, right? Ruins. Like, like, even, like, Shannon. Like, she doesn't want me on on her um, Trace Amigas. Vicky does. We're going to talk about that on the Rick and Kelly show on Patreon yeah. this week. Yeah. We meant to do it last week. We're definitely doing it this week. The yeah. Shannon story. Right. But it can hurt and ruin relationships and friendships. Right. It's just, like, it's, you know, it's it, it, they act differently when you're not on the show anymore. I don't know what happened between those two, but um, I adore them both. I, I, I really, really like them. Okay. Nadia Sansabara wrote, Kelly, can you recap what skin procedures and injectables you've done? Your skin looks incredible. I am 33 and thinking about trying Botox to prevent forehead lines. Any advice? Okay, this is the time to do it right now. 33. I started at 30 getting Botox. I mean, there's kind of like a fine line, right? Like, your body can adjust to Botox. So if you're I don't having know. if you're having like Elevens right now, totally go get Botox. What but is Elevens again? The two lines the in two your head. The two lines right here. Okay. They look like Eleven, like that right there. See? I don't. Know, my skin's looking a lot better. <laughs> those are called Elevens. Okay. Those little two Do I have lines. Elevens? Yeah. And Twelves. 13s. <laughs> you don't have okay. anything. Um, but it, what else? What uh, have you done? I've done Morpheus 8. I've done, uh, obviously, I just did filler, um, but very little filler. Uh, I've done. Botox. Um, I did that. Uh, what is it called? Um, I've done so much stuff. <laughs> you can't. I, I've never had a facelift or like anything like that. Right. No surgery. I've never had any surgery. No. Right. But you. But, but I've had like resurfacing, I've done peels, I've done um, um, the laser treatments. People think I have my lips done. I never have my lips done. Uh huh. Well, you're a beautiful woman. Uh, oh, and by but the I way, I would. I asked her to go. Should I get a little bit of injections in here? No. And thank you all. But I don't like that look of that duck look. I think it was like, a, yeah, me either. I think it was like 100% of you say Kelly does not need a facelift. I appreciate that very much. She definitely doesn't. And I agree with all of you. Way too soon. And in fact, Jay Goldfarb was one of those who weighed in. Said, Kelly, a facelift now will not make you look any younger. Uh, you are perfect. I don't think a plastic surgeon would do one. Oh, yes, Fa they would. <laughs> yeah. Every, everybody, I've gone to four plastic surgeons and they told me I needed a facelift. No. I don't believe you. Facelifts yes, do not... Yes, you do. I went to Dr. Well, of Christ. course, the surgery... Most of them are going to want to do it because they're going to make money on, off of it or, or get famous for doing your face. I mean, even plastic surgeons would transgender a little 12-year-old. I mean, like... Okay, well, you just confirm my argument. Yes. <laughs> Facelifts do not last forever and you really want one in your senior year? I don't know what that means. <laughs> You're beautiful. Rick, why do men always age better than women? You're more handsome than ever. Age looks good on you. Thanks, Jay Goldfarb. Well, men age better than women, first and foremost. Yeah. They shave their face every day, and that helps exfoliate. They have uh -huh. testosterone, uh -huh. which makes you young. Yeah. Uh, you have leaner body mass than mm -hmm. women, which makes you young. Okay. Uh, so men age better than women, hands down. 
Julie Lieber. I'm part of Rick's rogue army since watching him in Chicago while I went to Marquette and then Loyola for journalism. Glad Lena is okay. Do not get a facelift. On a side note, my husband and I are 26 years apart. He's older than me, but do you think it's a double standard when the woman is older? Just curious your take. Yes, um, I do think it's a double standard. You do? I do. Okay, first and foremost, women mature way faster than boys. Boys are like have their little frontal lobe doesn't develop until they're 24. Right. G girls just mature fast. They're Wait, like they're I think you misunderstood double standard. You agree that it's different. That, that that it's more natural and normal for an older man to be with a younger woman yes. than for an older woman to be with a younger man. Yes. Because men mature faster. Because women age differently than men. Yes, and because when you're younger, men typically want to have babies. Mm -hmm. At my age, that ship has sailed. Like at 48 years old, I'm not having any babies. I'm premenopausal. Like, so if you, and you're Larsa Pippen's age. Yes. And Marcus Jordan's 33. She's probably uh, premenopausal. If she, if I mean, she could have froze her eggs. You could do it that route. Right. She could have. But who right. wants to have freaking kids at 50? Like that's <laughs> nuts. So Marcus, you're only six years old, you're going to have a freaking 10-year-old? I mean, that's a lot of work. Right, so if Marcus Jordan wanted to have kids, Larsa Pippa is not probably the best uh, partner for that. Yeah, that's why it's double standard. Yeah. Men can have babies until they're 80 years old. It's not We've fair. I think Mick Jagger just had another I mean, kid. Uh, what, what was that? I used to call my grandma, I used to call him the worm on CNN, that... The guy with the glasses, the little beady Anderson guy. Anderson Cooper? No, the little beady guy. He's not there and he died, I think. Oh. And he had like a million kids with young girls. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. See, on CNN? On CNN. He was like that little guy with the glasses. That little nerd. He looked like the worm. Uh, Not Wolf Blitzer. He had a TV show. On CNN? On CNN. A little guy with little glasses. I don't and he know. had like, he had kids in his 90s. Oh, oh, Larry King. Yes! <laughs> Larry King, that crotchety old man. <laughs> the worm. We used to call him the worm. I didn't know you called him the worm. My grandma used to call him the worm. Do you have your Gedefies over there? Um, let's do one more spot for Gedefies. I wore these today, jump roping. You did? I did. They look good on you. Do you have the inserts in there? Oh, those, that's a brand new pair. Show them the inserts. Every pair of Gedefies comes with a complimentary, expertly crafted orthotics, two orthotics, offering extra alignment, stability, and support. So if they're a little big, you can put the little inserts in here. Yeah, you know what I mentioned yesterday, the thing I like about these Gedefies, and I have my own pairs, is that it makes you two inches taller. Orthotics. We, we all need Somebody's like, are those inches. orthopedic? I'm like, yeah, they are. You know, orthotics. most sneakers rely on Eva foam in their shoes. It's been a staple since 1975, but Gedefie, is taking us to the future. With its patented Verso shock technology, unmatched structural support, well, unparalleled shock absorption, and a bounce back energy that makes you feel like you're walking on air. It's true, I mean, I was. You were jump roping on those they, bad boys. They felt good. It does kind of feel like you're walking on air. It does. It's very cushiony. Mm -hmm. It takes like three days though for it to like your, for these to form your feet. Yeah, you gotta they're break not, them in. You have to break them in. Like they, you have to put the heat of your feet. You have to wear them. Like yeah, I I've been mine. wearing them. I've been wearing them every day. I wore mine today. My new black ones. I've been working out with them. I, I I I truly truly like them. I have some breaking news into the Daily Smash newsroom. Oh, yeah. What is it? Some of you uh, may recall that I was the eighth place winner at the 37th annual Lee Steinberg Super Bowl Party Charity Poker Tournament. I made the final table for about five minutes. So I've been waiting to find out what I want, right? Yeah. So today I got an email. Well, you didn't tell me? It, I just saw it while you were, we were getting ready. Shut up. They reached out today to let me know they still haven't heard back from the fifth place winner to see which prize they're going to take, which means I still have to wait longer to find out what I'm going to win. So what is it between? I don't know. I forgot. There were eight prizes, and the first place winner gets first choice, and they work their way down the list. And it's been how many weeks? Two, three weeks? Well, don't they have like a time limit? <laughs> Good question. When do they say enough's enough? Let's yeah. move on to the next. They, they that should care. be a rule. There should be they a should rule. have like 24 hours to make a decision. Yeah. Or they get skipped. Right. I should have said that from day one. You should write it back. <laughs> I will. Yeah. I want those those plane tickets. I, that's probably gone. The net jets. I wish. I hope. Whatever. I doubt so that's still going to be there. This Patreon app here, just yeah. an FYI, sucks. 
I get notifications when you guys write on there. Uh huh. But when I push it on there, it goes to the whole thing. Like, and then when I press on it, I can't get to the message. Yeah, that so, needs to be fixed. But our show is amazing on Patreon. That does not suck. Um, and you, all you got to do is subscribe, and you can watch 130 episodes. But one of our patrons asked um, about your lipstick. About the my lipstick, and you want me to read that? Yeah, I can it's not. runway room, right? Yeah, but what's the name on the bottom there? That says uh, supermodel. Supermodel. So <laughs> they want to know what kind of red lipstick I had on. Uh, oh, is that it? Oh, supermodel. Personally, I like the natural color of your lips. Brother. Rick hates when I wear red. Why is that? That guys hate red lipstick. I don't know. I have a uh, semi-political in the news story. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. In the news now. In the news. New York City migrant families could make up to $15,000 per year under a controversial $53 million prepaid credit card program. Wait, wait. Let me back up. (laughs) My mother, whom is on Social Security, has worked her whole entire life. Yeah. Saved 401ks, did the right thing, paid taxes. Uh huh. Um, doesn't she, like, like legit lives on like her 401k and, and social security. Uh huh. Well, like someone you who pay someone into the who, system and you you barely get two thousand dollars a month. Hold on. And these migrants. Someone who didn't follow the rules, who didn't fill out the proper paperwork, did not wait in line, just came across the border. Here I am. When there are people still waiting for their turn to legally enter the United States. All these people who came in illegally, if they wind up in New York City, the city of New York is going to start giving them up to $15,000 a year. Did you see what happened in New York City when these young punks beat the crap out of a couple cops and then they got arrested and it turned out that they, and there was another incident where they were stealing uh, bags from cell phones. There are gang members. Who came to America. From Venezuela. And Ecuador and and other places. Gang members, criminals, who come in and then we bus or fly them to a major city and then we put them up. A sanctuary city like San Francisco. And then we give them food. And now in New York, they're going to give them hundreds if not thousands of dollars, over a thousand dollars a month. For being here illegally. And here's and here's your reward. So what do you think is gonna happen? You think more people might want to come here? For free travel, free food, free lodging, and free debit cards? Why don't we take care of the problem that we have here at hand? Mm -hmm. That is homelessness. That's our veterans. That's our elderly that don't have, like, any place to go. Like, Mm -hmm. why don't we take care of the people who have paid into the system and take care of the people that are coming here properly? Um, You know, if you're going to be a part of the United States, you have to... you have to be vetted. That is a remarkable idea, my love. And I couldn't agree with you more. That, I, am, I, am, I, I, You know, my friends, all from San Francisco, they're all Ukrainian, Russians. You've heard their stories. They were in eighth grade coming to United States. I'm all for immigrants, okay, that are vetted and are can, can come here and Me work too. hard. Me too. Okay? My great-grandparents. I'm totally fine with that, okay? Yep. But my friends went through Rome. They had to like get the. Like, they had to stay with people. They had to work like five jobs mm-hmm. just because they were. They came here with nothing. Yeah. And but they, they followed the rules. But they followed the rules. Yeah. And they did it the right way. And they were. And they come to America. Uh huh. And they're the hardest working people. Because they weren't handed all this stuff, and then they, then you expect it. Oh, okay. Well, now I'm an American. They give you things here. Well, that's, they give that's you the problem that I, why I feel like I'm a libertarian. Like I, I feel like if you need it, there should be a handout, right? Mm-hmm. I don't believe in handouts like that. I feel it like a hand up. Mm-hmm. If you are, you know, in need of something, like in, we should help, of course, mm-hmm. but not having handouts because what happens with right. that? You become what? lazy. Yeah, what lesson you are you sending? You, you become lazy. Uh-huh. You feel like you're entitled. You feel like you don't need to work. Yeah. Why would I go to work when I get everything for free? I got everything I need right yeah. here. And maybe it's not the great, I'm, I'm sure it's not great accommodations. In some cases, it's a tent. But whatever, you're still putting them up. It's more than homeless people have. I just feel like we need to take care of the problems and the situations that we have 
in our own home, in I, our own backyard first. If you're not mad about this, then I don't know what you're doing. I don't know where your head's at. If you don't see what's happening here and say, you know what, this is nonsense. You know, normally we save this stuff for Patreon. Uh, you got a taste of it here, but um, we will be talking more about this. Um, anyway, I think we've gone deep enough and we got more work to do packing our home. A so. lot of work to do. <laughs> We hope you guys enjoyed this smash. Congrats to Kelly. Thank you. I'm very proud I'm of you. Pr I'm very proud of my, my soul life. Uh -huh. Like when I, some, something like this shows, numbers don't lie. Yeah. Numbers don't lie. Yeah. And when Jordan came to me and sold me on this, I was, I, I didn't believe it. I was like, cause I, you know, been Skeptical. having this. Yeah. I've, I've, I've had this problem for 30. I'm like, right. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, it's crazy to me. It's terrific is what it is. It's amazing. Yeah. So thank you, Soul Life. We'd love for you guys to benefit from it as well. And premenopausal or menopause, yeah. get magnesium. Need that magnesium, yo. Have a great day, everybody. Bye, guys.